This is Tom. Um, today I'm going to be showing you the best render settings for Sony Vegas. Um, Sony Vegas 9, 10, 11, and 12. Um, they all look a little bit different when you go to render, but um, they all use the same formats. So everything should uh, may look a little bit different, but um, it's all the same stuff. So I use a uh, Gosh, I don't even know what I use. 10? Yeah, I think I use 10. Oh, it says right there. Yeah, I use Sony Vegas 10. <laughs> so, uh, 11 and 12 will look a little bit different, but it's basically the same thing, same concept. All right, so here we have some jellyfish. Um, I stole this. Well, I shouldn't say I stole it, but I got it from a video online. Uh, I think I think this look cool, so I thought it'd be cool for the tutorial. So I didn't really, I didn't really have an edit. Uh, there's really not a cool effect I could have put in the edit, but anyway, um, let's get started. So I think, all right, disabled resample. All right, so first thing, uh, we have our clip, we have our audio. Uh, I'm not using black bars or anything because they're already on there. Uh, we need to change our properties. So you want to do this um, before you actually start editing. You want to go to your properties. Uh, sorry, it's just file. And then down at the bottom is properties. So there's a lot of options. Uh, don't be scared of them though. Uh, a lot of them, I don't even know what a lot of them do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know what most of them do. Uh, template. To start off with, uh, we're going to be rendering for the internet. Probably for YouTube. Most of you guys will be. Unless you guys are like making movies or something. But I mean, if you're making a movie, you should know how to render anyway. Uh, so we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom HD 1080 that's full 1080p 60i is 60 frames per second uh, oh sorry I, I messed that up this one is 60 frames per second 60i is just full HD so that's our template um, so full 1080p is 1920 by 1080 um, I render all my videos in 720p which is 1280 by 720 um, it really just depends on I mean what you're doing uh, YouTube I don't watch a lot of YouTube videos in 1080p I'm sure a lot of people don't so I just render in 720 uh, but for the sake of the video we're gonna render in full HD which is 1080p so 1920 by 1080 is what I have my dimension set as uh, the frame rate uh, is super important it's it's good to know your frame rate at all times um, my camera, I have a Canon T3, uh, it only records in 30 frames per second. So most of my projects are set to 30 frames per second, unless I'm doing like uh, uh, Call of Duty edit or something, which I rarely do. Rarely do. Uh, those, those are usually 60 frames per second because that's what most PVRs render in. Um, for this, I'm going to set it to 60 just because that's what most things are in. Um, one thing to keep in mind though, when you're uploading to the internet, uh, most internet sites only do 30 frames per second. So I would recommend just keeping that in mind um, and changing your properties after you're done with an edit and going through and make sure everything looks, looks, everything looks okay in uh, 30 frames per second. Sorry if I sound congested. I, I've had like mad allergies lately and I can't even talk right now and I sound stupid. Sorry. Uh, stereoscopic 3D mode. Um, unless you're doing 3D effects and like twitch effects, uh, you usually want to have that off. Um, I mean, it totally changes the project completely. I mean, look at it, it took away all my color. So, I mean, we're just going to take that off. Um, pixel format is probably one of the most important, if not the most important, uh, setting for your color. So 32-bit full range is basically every single color in existence. There's like a bajillion. That is the full range of color. 8-bit, um, I've rendered a couple videos in 8-bit just because I kind of like the way it looked. But I'll show you when I apply it. 
it makes it look really dull. So the black isn't as black as it could be. Uh, the white is like a chalk white. I mean, it, it looks really dull. Um, I don't really really like 8-bit. I've used it a couple times, but it, it's it, it's not a full range of color. Video levels, I think it's just awful. I think it's the ugliest thing ever. Don't use video levels. It's just bad. Uh, but we want full quality, so we're going to use all of our colors. So full HD. Uh, don't mess with the gamma. Don't touch that. Uh, full resolution rendering quality. While I edit, I have this set to good. Um, just because it might pre-render. It makes the pre-rendering faster. Um, but when you're ready to render, go ahead and set this to best. So I'm getting this ready to render, so I'm just going to set that to best. Motion blur type, Gaussian. Uh, I want to mess with anything else. Gaussian blur is my best friend. I use it all the time. Uh, I keep this unboxed and start all projects with these settings. I mean, that's up to you. So, uh, I have my own template I use. Uh, audio. I haven't really messed with this a lot. Sample rate set to 48,000. I know that much. Uh, best quality stereo because it's coming out of just that. Apply. Uh, I'm not going to mess with that other stuff. Okay, our properties are all set for the video to edit. Looks good. Nothing looks messed up or unproportional. Um, so we say our edit is done now. Uh, we are ready to render. So I usually take these yellow triangles and let's say I only want to render this much. Uh, put the triangles where I want that and that's how much it will render. Uh, but I want to get my full video and probably some black uh, after it. So uh, put it put it like that. Now before you render, you want to make sure everything looks good, obviously. Uh, I usually put the triangles at the top, however long I want to render, and I go to the first frame. Um, after that, usually you have this set to preview auto, so you can uh, pre-render. Um, but when you're ready to actually post your video on YouTube or whatever you're doing um, go ahead and change this to best and full um, because later on it'll ask you if you want to use the project settings um, but it's always good to have everything set to best no matter what um, so now we are actually ready, ready to render so we're gonna go to file up here at the top whoops and render as and then we're gonna make a title jellyfish um, and then you get some options here lots of options um, so I'll, I'll kind of touch on a little bit of them um, Windows me WMV Windows media video um, a lot of people actually render in this and I think it's awful and it makes me just want to cry um, WMV is a terrible format um, it just looks terrible. It's awful. Um, most things when you download them are either in MP4 or WMV. I mean, unless you're using like Windows Movie Maker, you have no reason to render in WMV. I mean, you're a pro. You're using Sony Vegas. So, I mean, deal with it. Don't use it. Uh, Wave. I mean, that's just audio. Uh, AVI. Video for Windows AVI. AVI is the best uh, rendering quality however for Sony Vegas it does not work well um, unless you have something like a like thousand frames per second you do not need to use AVI um, you will get the same exact quality with the render settings I'm using AVI is uh, uncompressed video and audio and it'll look great when you render it but it, I mean it it's kind of hard to explain but it'll be really slow because it's uncompressed you can render a 10 second video for like 30 hours before it finally finishes it's so ridiculous so let's not use that we're uploading to YouTube uh, or I don't know I'm sure everybody's uploading to YouTube uh, there's a couple of the formats up here I'm not going to touch on those uh, image sequence, JPEGs, PNGs, stuff like that, QuickTime and you're on a Mac, uh, don't render in QuickTime, it's really not that great. Um, the best settings for Sony Vegas is this guy right here. The Sony AVC 
MP4, M2TS, ABC, blah, blah, blah. Um, this is actually made for Sony Vegas. Um, I don't know if any other programs have it. I don't think they do. Uh, call me a liar, though. I have no idea. I mean, I only use Sony Vegas, so. Uh, I've used After Effects like twice. But uh, Sony ABC, perfect format for rendering. It's perfect for YouTube because you have, you have the option for internet. So that's what we want. So this guy here, Sony ABC MP4, uh, perfect. And then we're going to change our template. Uh, I usually have mine set to, whoops. 1280 by 720 30p uh, because I render in 720p um, but our video is in 1080 so we're gonna do 1920 by 1080 30p internet there's options for like blu-ray and stuff like that but I mean we're not gonna be using that uh, then we want to do these guys render loop region only so what that is is that's why we did these so that's how much I want to render that's how much this guy's gonna render if I uncheck that, it's just going to do the entire file. We don't want that. That may be a long video, it may be short, it's really hard to say. Uh, stretch video to output frame size, so it's going to make it 12, or sorry, 1920 by 1080. So it's going to take up my whole screen when I render it. Um, save project marker as a media file. I don't know what that means, I just check it. And that's just being honest, sorry. Uh, custom. So we're going to change our settings around a little bit, make sure everything looks good before we actually render because we want it to look pretty. Um, again, uploading to the internet only goes in 30 frames per second, so NTSC. Uh, you can change it to 60, but it'll just error out and say, oh, I can't do that, and then it'll just go back down to 30. So just leave it like that. Uh, our bit rate, all this stuff, uh, just leave it the same. Uh, honestly, it's not even important. You're not going to be able to tell the difference. Uh, so we're just going to go to audio. Uh, our sample rate you want at 48,000. Uh, that's pretty basic. That's uh, what everything usually is. Uh, our bit rate for audio, however, is 192,000. That's full HD video or audio for HD video. So just set it there. Uh, stereo, we're not using surround sound uh, for YouTube. So system just set that to mp4 don't touch these other guys and then our project uh, video render quality we can use our project settings which is set to best down there you can't see it um, but we're just gonna set this to best just in case um, I mean I mean it's really just for uh, state of mind I guess or I don't know make you feel better stereoscopic 3d mode there's no option for none so we're just gonna use project settings and now we are ready to render. Um, sometimes I go back and double check my properties, make sure everything is good, uh, save the file a couple times, um, and then I, I go and render again. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and save this to my desktop, and I'll come back when it renders, and then I'll show the video to you. Alright, so our video is rendered, uh, it's on my desktop now, I'll just go ahead and play it for you real quick. Alright, I'm not sure what that looks like. Uh, because this screen capture is sometimes weird but hopefully it'll look nice for you guys um, if you guys have any questions at all uh, this is kind of a lot to take in uh, but eventually it just kind of becomes second nature once you do it after a while and it, it usually comes out looking pretty nice so uh, if you have any questions you can add me on Skype uh, you can personal message me on YouTube um, I'm constantly checking my inbox um, don't be scared to message me. I seriously reply to every single person. Um, I try to do that on comments too. So if you guys have any questions, I mean, there's a thousand different ways to get a hold of me. Uh, I mean, sh you can add me on Facebook. I don't care. I mean, my Facebook and Instagram is linked on my YouTube. So <laughs> uh, whatever you guys got to do, um, just leave me some feedback. Uh, like the video uh, if you guys uh, enjoy these tutorials. Um, I'm trying to get more subscribers. Um, not because I just want attention, but because I want to help the community. Um, I think 
everybody should be able to bring their ideas to life. Um, so, I mean, spread the word. If you guys like my tutorials, I mean, I love helping people. So, um, other than that, uh, I think that's it. If I missed anything, let me know. Uh, I think I got everything though. Alright, I will leave this video in the download in the description below if you'd like. Well, yeah, I'll put that in there. And I'll put the song in there too. Uh, the song's kind of weird, but uh, you guys can have it. Alright. Thank you.